So the first thing I'm going to do is import everything we need. So URL lib request import URL open. All right. So this is just a module that allows us to connect to web pages from Python. You probably used it before. Now, another thing that we need to do is just import link finder so our spider can actually use it. So from link finder, import link finder. And also remember this file that we made earlier, it just had a bunch of like simple housekeeping methods in it. We're just gonna import that. So from general import all. All right, so looking good. So of course, later on, we're gonna go ahead and need an initialization method. It's kind of a tongue twister. So inside here is where we typically write all of our instance variables. In other words, when if we were just making a normal class and each instance of that class had its own set of variables, you know, we would just type in there. If we made a people class, every person would have their own name, their own hair color, tomato, tomato. But again, these spiders, as we saw, they need a special type of variable. They need a variable that they can all share right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually make a class variable. Now, a class variable is a special type of variable, like I said, that's shared among all instances. So whenever we make this, all we can make like 100 spiders and they're all looking at the same variable. And let me write that. So class variables, say uh, shared among all. Can you spell instances, Bucky? Holy sweet moly. All right, so there you go. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I just want to make a variable called project name. So that way, whenever the spiders start crawling the links, they just know what folder to start putting them in. And again, this is just going to be equal to something like the new Boston most of the time, but we're going to let the user pass that in. Now, another thing I want to do is get the base URL, because remember, we need the base URL, and that is just typically going to be just the homepage URL. And we already explained why we need that. So you can pretty much, if a link is only um, relative, you can make it a full properly formatted link. Now, the other thing that you need is domain name. Now, later on, I'm gonna show you guys why you need the domain name, basically for the same reason you need this. And there's actually a bunch of uh, cool Python um, modules to help us out with some of that stuff. But we wanna make sure that we're connecting to a valid domain without any issues, so there's that. Now, I'm also gonna make variables for those crawled and queue files, and that's just because I just don't wanna be like, um, project name plus crawled.txt. I just don't wanna plop this all over every time I wanna access the file. So I'm just gonna make a variable right here, and I'll name it um, queue file in crawled file. Now again, the reason I'm making these blank is I'm just going ahead and declaring them up here. So whenever I make them up here, I'm just saying, hey, these are class variables. They're just gonna be shared among all instances. We don't have to set their value yet. Um, we just make them class variables right here and we can actually just set their value later on. Any spider actually can set the value of these, which is pretty cool. And I actually wanna make two more things, two really important things, and that is the queue. And you can name this Q set if you want, but I'm going to be using this a lot. So I'm, I'm just going to set this equal to an empty set and also crawled. Now, again, if you're like, all right, so the Q is the waiting list and the crawled are all the pages that you crawled. So isn't that what this is right here? Well, remember, this is going to be the text file. So whenever we're shutting down our computer and we want to save that information long term, we actually need to save it to a file. So these are actually gonna have the same data in it, but the reason that we make these sets right here is because we just don't wanna to write to a file every single time you come across a link that's really slow, it's not efficient at all. So we're gonna use variables. And again, files are stored on your hard drive and these variables are stored on your RAM. They're a lot faster, even with the new you know, solid state hard drives, whatever. All right, so we got a bunch of variables. And again, these are the ones that are shared among all instances or all spiders. Now, anytime you want to use a class variable, 
Actually, let me go ahead and pause this video and I'll talk to you guys about this in the next one. It's getting kind of long.